Hi everybody, this is Vizio Guy, and I wanted to show off the new Apple iPad Smart Shape that I've created for you. It's, of course, it's Vizio, so you don't really need to see animation, but some of the Smart Shape features that are built into this thing are much more apparent when you see shapes moving around on the page, so when you see it live and in action. Now, the user interface here it doesn't look like Vizio, but it's actually Vizio 2010, where you can collapse and expand the ribbon. So in case you're wondering what you're looking at, it is in fact Vizio. If you can see, I can click on that and there's the handles. So anyway, off we go to the shape. Down here, in the beginning, I had this idea to draw an iPad shape and I did and it looks fairly faithful. If you zoom in, it looks like an iPad. Yes, it does. I got carried away and started adding some highlighting and shading to it. And I thought, well, this is pretty cool. I mean, you double click on it type some text. It's a nice shape. You could add some notes to a page, it, not necessarily for network diagrams, but say you just want to add some notes to a page that kind of have a special flavor to it by using an iPad. So the problem with this shape was that if you rotate it, it's just pretty graphics. It doesn't really do anything interesting. Around and around it goes. Pretty boring. So I thought, well, wait a second. When I rotate my iPod and, or an iPad, the text or whatever's displayed on the screen knows which way is up. So why not create the Visio shape that can do that? And you can see there it goes, just like you'd want it to. So now if you had short, sharp eyes, you might have noticed something else that's happening. Let's zoom out a little bit. The shading on this thing is made such that the light comes from the top left corner, the way it's originally drawn. And as you rotate it, you can see that the shading maintains. There's the lighter portion of the shape stays in the top left corner of the shape as best as it can. You also notice there's a little bling highlight here and a, an even smaller one down on the lower right that actually followed around, you know, sort of the sunspot. This is just superfluous Visio Shape Smarts. But I think it's pretty cool. So the reason this is important, other than just being cool, is that, let's zoom down just a little bit more. If you have a bunch of these shapes on a page, and they just behave like the first shape, you can see the this is the, the group of the first ones the smart, where the shading doesn't do anything intelligent. You can see it's actually rotating down here. The light source is not coming from the top left. If you get a lot of these on the page, it's actually visually distracting. And because you're a human being, you've grown up on planet Earth with one sun, you're used to light sources and correct shadows. So it doesn't look too bad right here because it's black and you've got a nice, uh, kind of a sexy looking setup here. But if you had lots of these rotated at different angles on a page, it wouldn't look good. So let's move the blinder over and you can see that this feels more natural here. This is the smart shape with the, not only is the text rotated right but your lighting is always on the top left corner. So hope you enjoy the shape. Uh, read the article that goes with it over on visguy.com v-i-s-g-u-y.com and thanks for watching. Bye.